What is up guys, TLSU back for a video. Today, I'm gonna to go over my top five Apple products I use on a daily basis. So without no further talking, let's get straight into the video. To start off, I have my iPhone 15 Pro. This is not the Max or anything. This is just the iPhone 15 Pro. And I have a matte screen protector on it. It has a few bubbles, but I'm gonna get a uh, replacement one soon. But yeah, I have this default wallpaper. I don't really like the other ones. I don't know why. I like, this is the one that came with it. Uh, and this is the one I was using my old phone, um, but yeah, I, I stick to this one, I don't know why, it's just the one that comes with it. The one reason, like, I love this case is I can actually flip this down and it can stand up just like that. It's great for watching videos, playing games, and actually recording, because, like, you can just pop it up right here and just start recording just like that without a need for a tripod or anything i actually got the blue variant i'm gonna explain why i got that later but yeah i have my widgets i have the uv index for the day i have the sunset and i have my school schedule and yeah so moving on i have my apple watch uh i wear this every day uh when i go to school not really on the weekends i just don't put it on on the weekends but i have my widgets i have my battery i have my fitness and i have my weather so my weather and then i don't know why it says 15 days ago i literally wore it yesterday but i think this might be sleep and then on my elevation and my apps i don't know i don't i don't really have a lot of apps on my apple watch just the like default ones i love this sleep app but this app i really recommend this you can wake yourself up with a window a 30 minute window basically you put this on your wrist you go to bed and you set a window and your apple watch actually analyzes when your body would wake up the best at the best time like it would wake up easiest at that time when you're in the lightest stage of sleep when i use that i always wake up the best feeling the best well rested when i use a regular alarm clock sometimes i just wake up like sometimes very tired and just mad i also have the braided wristband i love this band it's just so easy to just slip on very breathable as you can see it's literally the definition of breathability because literally there's holes right in it and it's the best you don't there's no lashes or anything you just slip it right on and it stays really secure Moving on to my AirPod Pro, uh, second generation. I use these on a daily basis. I use these with all my devices, pretty much all day long. They're like, always in my ears with my phone, my Mac, and my iPad. They're just great. I have these custom tips on them. Um, on them, these are the foam tips that conform to your ear when you squeeze them, put them in. I have this Verso design case. I love the, the way it looks. The only bad thing about this case is that you can't actually hold the button to pair it, so you actually have to take them out, which sucks for audio sharing. You have to actually take the case out. My previous AirPods third generation had this case called Mira case. That one was so good. It was so thin, but it was so rigid. And it also had the button. So, but fortunately Mira case didn't make one for this AirPods second generation, uh, which sucks. But this is also, this is pretty, good case the bass and the sound quality is amazing on these i used to listen to music i watch youtube and just use it just normally moving on to my ipad this is my ipad 2018 this is the first generation ipad pro without a home button and this is the 12 inch variant and i basically use this for drawing i have my apple pencil right here I use it for school notes stuff like that i don't really draw on it, probably one of my le one of my u least used out projects, just due to the reason, well, because I have a MacBook. I'll touch more later on that. I just, I don't know. Like, if I had to sell one, it would definitely be my iPad. I just don't use it as frequently as you know other people might want to. But yeah, I I love it. You could draw. The screen is probably better than the MacBook because of this being 120 hertz. You can't see it on the screen, but it's just way more fluid. But yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. Don't watch YouTube I just draw. That's pretty much the only reason I use it. And last but definitely, definitely, definitely not least is my MacBook Air M2 in blue. This is 13 inch. I love this machine to death. Oh my God. I love this MacBook so much. I use this thing all day long. This is always by my bedside table or in my backpack for school or downstairs. I love this thing so much. All the YouTube videos I wanna watch, I watch this on here. Movies, video editing, I do, I get hep. I get so much work done on this. School, I text people, I call people from this. It is just an amazing machine. It is wicked fast. The RAM management is crazy. I got the eight gigabyte variant and I thought mm, maybe that will be a little bit too like a little not enough but man this thing like screams sometimes when I'm doing a lot of work like I have a lot of chrome tabs open and editing and work pulled up it still handles it like a champ I push this thing to its limits and it's crazy how it can do all of this and not and be dead silent it has, it has no fan in it it is amazing and just the build the form factor is crazy like this keyboard is one of the best keyboards Apple's ever made. I had the 
MacBook Air 2018 with the butterfly keyboard. I really hated that one. That one was so slow. The fan was always on max and the keyboard sucked. Like it got, you know, the butterfly issues that everyone had. That was happened to me. And I had to send my MacBook in for repair twice, but Apple did compensate me. I did file the program where you could file if you had that MacBook and they would send you some money. So I did receive money because of that. But that laptop has been sold for about a year now. I have been using this Mac for over a year now, I got this March 2023. So far, literally no problems. I had no crashes or anything. Yes, there has been some problems with like software, some apps and stuff, but that's just because of the apps. It's not because of the MacBook itself. I really, I'm, I can't complain. I This is worth pretty much every penny. And it's so portable too. Like it's just so light. The screen is amazing. It's 4K and it's a retina and it has extremely good colors, sharpness. The battery life is amazing. I can get a full day's worth of use out of it. It doesn't come with a fast charger out of the box, I don't think, but I have a 67 watt that I bought off Amazon is. But yeah, when it's when I use that fast charger, which I always use, which is kind of not good, because it's not good to fast charge your backlink all the time, but I still do it anyways, because I don't really have, have a lot of time, especially in the mornings before school, I wake up, my MacBook is on like 20% from the previous day. You can see in two ways. You can see that, you know, I have 20% before school starts or sucks. But the fact that I wake up the next morning after I charge it and it still has 20% left is just amazing. And I wake up, put it on the charger, do my entire morning routine. I get back and it's at 80. It is insane. Like it is unbelievable how it can charge that fast and maintain such a good battery life throughout the day. And that is partly thanks to the M2 chip being so inefficient is so powerful it just it just blows my mind on how amazing this machine is i i know i've talked this is the this is the app i talked the most on but just I, I i don't know what i'll do without this this macbook is just amazing and i'm glad to have the magsafe which i charge and then two usb-c ports which i can use for like flash drives and stuff like that and that's pretty much it so if i had to rank them in order it would first be my phone i uh, i'd rather have Honestly, I don't know. My MacBook and my phone would be tied. I just like my phone a little bit better because Snapchat, Instagram, and it has the data. Because so when I take it to school, I have to use the hotspot. But my MacBook comes in like, it, it, they're basically, I can't choose which one better. Maybe my, I use my MacBook way more than my phone though. At home, uh, definitely more. And then probably my AirPods second, my Apple Watch third, and my iPod last. So that's the order of how I would rank my Apple products. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. See ya. Bye.